my first day on the job was 9-11. We were working, you know, 16, 18 hour days. I mean, it was, it, it, that those four months after 9-11 are a blur because it's, it was just, you're not, we recognized that this was a significant event in history. Whatever you've got in the fight, whatever you've got in the labs, we need it. Whatever tools you can use to prosecute those behind 9-11, um, do it. I was selected as the designated senior executive of NSA to lead up that effort to find anything we had in the fight. And so I did. And that's where I brought to the attention of others tools, techniques, programs, things that were in the lab, things that were pilots, things that were being just test bed. The mantra that went out from NSA by General Hayden, he kept going around saying, we just need to make Americans feel safe again. Feel safe. Even had banners. And I discovered during those first couple, three weeks after 9-11, all this information that, as you imagine, was pouring in after 9-11, literally being used to monitor and surveil and intercept U.S. domestic communications on an extraordinarily broad scale. I was finding this out within days of 9-11, and others were coming to me saying, what are we doing, Tom? Among the Snowden documents were figures for the U.S. Secret Service budget. Since September 11th, they supposedly doubled by 25 billion to 52 billion US dollars in 2013. The surveillance programs continue to metastasize. They continue to expand in ways that still have not been fully revealed. And this became sort of the collect it all mindset and mentality. What does that lead to? Well, yes, you're, you're, you're a secret organization. You have these other interesting arrangements with certain uh, internet providers and telecommunication concerns. So temptations are enormous. And it's like, hey, you know, give us access or hack in or open it up. And that's what happened. I mean, and now you're seeing a lot of this unfold. The National Security Agency, NSA for short, the largest foreign intelligence agency in the USA has been responsible for the worldwide monitoring of electronic communication since 1952. Some of the 35,000 employees weren't comfortable with the massive expansion of surveillance since September 11th. All of the colleagues that I knew, which was just a handful, Bill Binney, Ed Loomis, Kirk Wiebe, chose to retire from the NSA in late October 2001. They realized what was happening. They could not stand by and see the subversion of the Constitution and all the work that they had done being used for mass surveillance. They left the agency. I begged them to stay. I chose to remain and fight from within as long as I could. 